students, I am Teacher Rialin, your grade 8 rapid teacher. And for today's lesson, we will discuss about the arts of Southeast Asia, especially in Laos, Malaysia, and Thailand. The objective of our lesson for today is to identify the characteristics of the arts and crafts in a specific countries in Southeast Asia. Now let's start! The Arts and Crafts of Laos Laos is known as Sa Paper. Laotian make paper in hand in wider region for over 700 years. How to make Sa Paper? They use the bark of local Sa or mulberry tree. The bark is crushed and soaked in water until it dissolves into a paste. The liquid is then scooped out, poured throughout a bamboo seed, and finally placed in a thin layer on a bamboo bed and dried in the sun. Some paper traditional uses or calligraphy festive temple decor, fun, and kites. It has been revived particularly in Luang Prabang, Northern Laos. It is used now to create lampshades, writing paper, greetings card, and bookmarks. Let's go to the fabric design of Malaysia. Batik is the most common fabric in Malaysia. The term batik is Indonesian Malay word. Believed to be related to the Malay word titik, which means point, dot, or drop. There are two categories of batik designs. The geometric motifs and free-form designs. Malaysian batik incorporated leaves and flowers to avoid interpretation of human and animal image as idolatry. It is famous for geometrical design or spirals. There are two types of Malaysian batik. First, the hand painted. The artist uses the canting, a small copper container with one or more different sized pipes. Second, block printed. Done by welding together strips of metal to form a metal block. Now let's go to the arts and crafts of Malaysia. One kite is a uniquely designed Malaysian kite. Its wings are similar to Arabic letter pronounced as wow. Farmers use a kite as scarecrow in the field as a means to lull their children to sleep and they could work with a little interruption. These are kites displayed in Pasir Gudang International Kite Festival. Now let's proceed to the arts and crafts of Thailand. The sky Lantern or Kum Loy are made out of rice paper with a bamboo frame which contain a fuel cell or small candle. One very important festival in which sky lantern are used in Ye Peng Festival which is held on full moon of the second month of Lana Calendar. is also called the Wish Lantern. 
This is how festival looks like. A lot of bunches lantern in the sky. Loy Kratong Festival Thailand's most enchanting and second best known festival after its New Year's Festival Songkran. The most popular festival held on the 12th full moon, usually in November. The word Loy means to float and Kratong refers to a piece of banana trunk decorated with flowers, banana leaves, candle, and incense sticks. Thai have long been closely involved with the rivers for ages. Thailand is an agriculture-based country, which means rivers are like their own blood veins. To show respect to the river, Goddess of the River, Rame Konka. Thais decided to make Kratong for worship and as for forgiveness. Thai also see it as a time to wave goodbye to misfortune and wash away sins of the past year and make wishes for this coming year. Here are the different design of Loy Kratong Festival floating in the river. That is the end of our discussion for today. Thank you and God bless.